Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over section 5.5 of our virtual geometry text and areas of polygons. We're going to be looking at how to find areas of quadrilaterals and triangles. The kind of problem we're going to be going through um, is captured here in this sample problem. Find the area of the figure to the right. So we have a rectangle here, a 5 by 6. And using the formula area equals length times width, we can compute the area. Do not forget we have six practice problems at the end of this presentation for you to try out to demonstrate mastery of the contents of this tutorial. To gain access to our uh, entire geometry course, Algebra 1, 2, Pre-Calc and Calculus, just take a look at the links in the description below or visit our website at mathgotserved.com. All right, to get us started, we're going to be taking a look at the formulas that will be guiding our problem solving process. You can access this document on our website at mathgodserved.com. Uh, area of a triangle is one of the formulas we need to know. To find the area of a triangle, all you just need to do is compute the product of one half the base and the perpendicular height. One half base times height times perpendicular height. Okay, so something to keep in mind is that the height has to be perpendicular to the base on the consideration. And then if you notice the two cases here, uh, we have an acute triangle and an obtuse triangle. Um, if you have an acute triangle, the height is normally will reside at the inside the triangle. And then if you have an obtuse triangle, um, depending on where the base is, it could reside outside the triangle. All right. So keep that in mind. The next formula is the area of a square, pretty much straightforward, is side times side. Side square is the area um, of a square. Area of a rectangle is length times width. We know that a square is a special case of a rectangle where the length and width have identical measures. So that's why we just have side square for the area of a square. The area of a parallelogram is base times the perpendicular height. Again, notice there's a slant height for a parallelogram relative to the base and there's a perpendicular height to calculate the area you need the base times the perpendicular height not the slant height area of a trapezoid is one half base one plus base two times perpendicular height again um you have two other heights those are the the legs of the um trapezoid when you're calculating the area of a trapezoid you do not use the leg measures you use the bases and the perpendicular height um, between the bases. Alrighty, let's get started. Um, the instructions for the examples we're doing is we're to find the areas of the given figures. All right. So for question number one, we have a square. Okay. So question number one, let's say it's uh, seven by seven. So when you have four congruent sides, it could be a rhombus or a square, but if they are all 90 degrees, then it automatically makes it a square. Okay, so let's say we have a regular quadrilateral, namely a square, and we want to find the area. Okay, so the formula for the area of a square is a side square, right, or side times side. In this particular problem, the sides are seven, seven, all sevens. Okay. We can use the rectangle formula here because remember every square is a rectangle but not all rectangles are squares. So the area of this square is going to be 7 raised to the second power which is 7 times 7, 49 square units. Okay, so that goes the area for problem number 1. Okay, let's take a look at question 2. Question two, we have a triangle. Let's say, let's indicate what the perpendicular height is. Notice that in this particular case, we have um, an obtuse triangle, okay? So from this base, the uh, perpendicular height is gonna sit outside like that. All right, so let's say the perpendicular height for this obtuse triangle is 2.2 meters. Let's put some units there. And then the base length is 4.6 meters. All right, so what's the formula for the area of a triangle? The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Not just any height, but the perpendicular heights to that base that you have defined, okay? In this setup that we have, this is the base right here. 4.6, this is 90 degrees, forgot to put that in, and this right here is the perpendicular height. 
h perpendicular relative to this base right here. Okay, so let's substitute the area is going to be 1 over 2, 1 half times 4.6 times 2.2. We can divide 2.2 by uh, 2. So 2 goes into 2.2 1.1 times. So we have 4.6 multiplied by 1.1. Okay. All right, so let's multiply that out. Um, so we have 4.6 multiply it. Um, Multiply it vertically, 4.6, 1.1. You just multiply the numbers first, okay? So 1 times 6, 6, 1 times 4, 4, 1 times 1, 4, 1 times, I'm um, sorry, 1 times 6, 6, and then uh, 1 times 4, 4. And then add it downwards. Let's see what we get. When we add it downwards, um, we're going to get. 506. Where do we place our decimal points? You count how many digits there are to the right of the decimal for your factors. There are two digits, so you just go one, two right here. So our area is 5.06 meters square. Okay, notice we're multiplying two lengths. The dimension of area is length square, so it's 5.06 meters square. Okay, let's take a look at question number three. Question three, let's say we have a rectangle, okay? Opposite sides are parallel and congruent and all four angles are congruent. Uh, and it's 10.6 feet by eight feet. Let's find the area uh, here, basically this area right here. Um, the area of a rectangle is given by length times width, okay? length multiplied by width. So what we're going to do is specify what the length and widths are. So this is our length right here and this is our width. We'll just figure out the product of the two, okay? And that will be the area of the rectangle. So the length is 10.6 times 8. Okay, let's multiply that out uh, vertically. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 carry 4. 8 times 0 is 0, bring down the 4. 8 times 1 is 8. There's only one digit behind the decimal point, so it's 8.8. 84.8, sorry. So the area of our rectangle is 84.8. So feet times feet is feet square. All right, that's the area of the given rectangle above. Okay, we have two more problems, and they will give you an opportunity to do some practice problems to demonstrate mastery, okay? Number four, let's say we have a parallelogram here. So if opposite sides are parallel, um, you have a parallelogram, okay? All right, so let's say it has a base measure of 12, and the height, perpendicular height from that base is 7.5 units long so let's say this is the perpendicular height from the base okay remember for a the area of parallelograms trapezoids triangles we're looking at the base and the perpendicular height that is always the case we're never looking at a slant height for finding the area okay all right so this is um 12 by 5 7.5 Let's say it's centimeters, seven centimeters for that, centimeters for that. Okay, what's the area? Area of a parallelogram, area of a parallelogram is base times perpendicular height. In this particular problem that we have, this is the base right here, and this guy 7.5 is our perpendicular height. Excellent, we have everything that we need, so the area of the trapezoid is going to be 12 times 7.5. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and multiply that out. Uh, we have 12 times 7.5. All right, ignore the decimal point first when you're multiplying decimals, okay? 
just multiply the digits and then we'll fix the decimal point after. Five times two is 10, five times two is 10, zero. Carry one, five times one is five. Oh, we carried a one before, so that makes it a six. Six there. And this is a seven, let me write my seven properly. Uh, seven times two is 14, four carry one, seven, one, seven, eight. And then you add downwards. And then you get 900, okay? Where do we put our decimal points? We have only one digit to the right of the decimal, so put our decimal point right here. So our area, the area of our parallelogram is 90 centimeters square. All right, because we're multiplying two centimeter measures, so we have to square the units. Okay, let's take a look at one more example, and then we're gonna have you do some practice, all right? So for number five, Let's say we have a trapezoid right here, as you can see. Um, and we have the bases are 9.9 .9 feet and 4.9 feet. And then the perpendicular height for our trapezoid, let's indicate what that is. The perpendicular height is six feet, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what the area is. So what's the formula for the area of a trapezoid? The area of a trapezoid is given by half sum of parallel lines times height, or parallel bases, B1, B2 times H, not just any H, but H perpendicular, okay? So this is B2 right here, and then that's B1. All right, the assumption is that these two sides are parallel, and then this is our H perpendicular. All right, so our area, the area of our trapezoid is going to be one half of 4.9 plus 9.9 .9 multiplied by six, okay? Notice what we can do here. Two goes here one, two goes here three, just to simplify the computation process. All right, so following our order of operations, we're gonna take care of the grouped operation first. So we add these two since in parentheses. So we add those two, we get um, nine plus nine, 18, eight carry one. Four plus nine is 13 plus the one is 14. So 14.8 multiplied by three, okay? Um, and then we can just do this three times eight is 24, four carry two, three times four is 12, plus two, 14, four, carry one, three times one is three, plus four, four. Okay, where's our decimal point? There's only one digit to the right, so it's 44.4. The unit is feet square. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the area of our trapezoid. All right, so that's that. Now it's your turn to do some practice problems. Some practice problems. So uh, at this time, I'd like you to pause and try out these six practice problems. When you're done, click on the playback button and we're going to reveal what the correct answers are. All righty, welcome back. Hopefully you had a chance to try the practice problems. Let's take a look at what the answers are. Number one, the area is 4.8 miles square. For number two, the answer is 8.4 miles square. For number three, the area is 25 centimeters square. For number four, the area for the parallelogram is uh, 18 feet square. For number five, the area of our right triangle is six inches square. Now, something to note for number five is that if you have a right triangle uh, and one of the legs is the base, the other leg is going to be your perpendicular height, okay? And then number six, the area is 25.8 meters square. Alrighty, how well did you do in these practice problems? Let us know in the comment section below how well you did. If you have any questions, let us know and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of geometry and areas, give us a thumbs up or a like. Your positive feedback is extremely important to us. 
Do not forget to subscribe to this channel for updates to other presentations such as this. Tons of support resources for geometry and other courses can be found at mathgodserve.com. Do check it out. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.